All right, so reaching stress with myself. The Jamaica Defense Force, um, okay, what's the story's name? JDF probing disappearance of two fans from headquarters. And this is definitely for two stories too good to be true. The Jamaica the J JDF yesterday confirmed that two weapons were on a code for its upcard camp headquarters that have reports of the appearance of the firearms first service on social media. At midday radio Jamaica reported that Chief of Defense Staff Lieutenant General Rocky Mead confirmed reports that the camp was on lockdown. The Jamaica Zero sent questions to the JDF which responded with the following terse statement. Quote unquote, the Jamaica Defense Force is currently conducting weapon weapons inventory check. There is more in this check there, there was an anomaly discovered suggesting that two weapons were accounted for. Alright. The standard operating procedure for missing weapons was in the Immediately initiated. These includes restricting movements in and out of upper camp while we complete these inventory checks. All right, and the article. So it does obviously looks like this was an inside job. Like one of the soldiers. I think there's some articles saying that one of the so one of the so one soldier or two was responsible for this and they're just doing cleanup. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. But all I can say is that this is something for a TV show or movie. All right, because because uh, basically it would just when you hear stories like that, it does something that seems so surreal that you think that um, you'd obviously think that there um that this is something that could only happen that there's a this is like a part of a movie or TV show or this is like some 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 act or some prank that they're that they was conducted. But I don't know. This is like again, this is like make a good story for a TV show or a movie, but. The thing about Jamaica is that you always have a bag of excitement every day that you have these surreal stories that come out and you just can't help but make comments on it. So, all right. So, um, so this is basically for State of Jamaica and Caribbean. Check out my YouTube pages, uh, Miles Gustin Farron and Miles Productions. Farewell.